What's happening lads, Azza23 back with another Fallout 76 video on the channel and today we're going to be opening another 1000 scripts worth of 3 star legendary range weapons just like we have in the past, hopefully we get some better luck than what we did in the past so let me just double check, we've got 1000 legendary scripts we're going to fast travel over to the purveyor now and we're going to jump right into it okay so here we are at the script dungeon let's get straight into it, we're going to hit trade just as before, legendary ranged weapons. We're looking for the handmaids. We're looking for the fixers. We're probably not going to get them, but we got 10 shots at at least getting a decent one. Straight away, we get a stalker's bow. Not interested whatsoever. Not even fussed on the, the stalker's legendary effect, to be honest. Uh, 33 and 15 is a decent effect, just not a decent enough weapon in my eyes. That is script. Here we go again. Oh, come on, we got a quad fixer! Lovely! Now that's what I'm talking about, something nice! We obviously get the improved stealth and the faster sneaking movement because it is a fixer. We've got the quad ammo capacity because we've got the quad effect. It's a shame it's not explosive, but it's, it's, it is what it is. 33% VAT hit chance, 25% less VAT action point cost. That is a lovely roll, I'm really happy with that. Like I said, I've been after fixers and um, and handmaids. Just tailored my build to be a junkies build, so a junkies one would have been nice, but I'm really happy with that. We've got a Ghoul Slayer's Gatlin Plasma. 30% damage to ghouls, you know that Ghoul Slayer effect really is situational. Um, if you were farming the burrows or something like that, then that's when the Ghoul Slayer's effect would be nice for you. But just in general, it's not really something that, that phases me. Um, that's probably going to get scripted because of the amount of ways as well. We're going to bang him with another one. I'm still really buzzing about getting that fixer. Oh my god, that I. The rest could be flops, but I'm happy with that fixer. Got Ghoul Slayers short double barrel shotgun again. Ghoul Slayers is very situational, um, and I don't think you're really going to be taking a double barrel shotgun to fend off a bunch of ghouls. You're going to spend so much time reloading after the second shot. And get a couple hits on you by the time you reload. Bashing damage, one of the worst as well. So that's a pretty shit roll there. Straight back in. Hunter's submachine gun, 30% damage to animals. Again, situational. 90% uh, reduced weight is nice because this is one of the three star weapons that I can just hoard. Um, obviously, I have a lot of three star weapons just waiting to be scripted, but the ones that weigh less are very nice to get in that sense. Uh, Vax critical shots do plus 50 damage is always a great effect. Submachine guns in general are good. I think they've got the fastest fire rate of any sort of commando gun. I could be wrong. Um, they're not as good as they once used to be, but they are quite underrated guns to be fair. I had a nice junky submachine gun. Right, we're halfway through. we got another 5 to open up. Let's hopefully get another fixer or handmade. And here we go. Harpoon's gun. That's just back to normality, isn't it? Plus side is it's 90% reduced weight, so I can keep that in the in the stash. As you can see, it's only weighing in at 1.28 pounds. Damage increase when suffering from addictions. I am a junkies build, so if I ever need to use it, um, I could just chuck it on. But I highly doubt I'm ever going to. I got a junkies um, plasma gun uh, Gatlin rifle that I use when I go and fight the queen. So. I'm probably never going to use this gun. Not 25% faster fire rate is always nice for a big gun as well, to be fair. Um, here we go with the next one. A Furious Minigun. Now that sounds absolutely mental and it's explosive. That, in my eyes, is a good roll. Obviously it's a minigun. Um, it's going to be shooting at a really fast rate. Um, the Furious effect, we're going to boom, 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 boom. For each consecutive hit, we're going to get plus damage. And it's explosive, so if you chuck on an explosive expert, sorry, or a demolition expert rank 5, you are going to be getting a lot of damage with this gun. Um, that is really nice to be fair, I probably won't script that, that's going to go obviously off a sale or trade on the Reddit. Open up our last 3 now, and we're going to get an exterminator short Gatling gun. I do not like the exterminator's perk, you do not fight my lurks as often as anything else really. It, my lurks in fact, like I said, a lot of these effects are situational. I'm not a fan of the Gatling gun anyway to be honest, the 
50% damage um, resistance while aiming is alright. 25% faster fire rate is alright. If that first effect would have been like a bloody or something like that, that would make people maybe want this, then it would have been good. But that's that's just not for me. Last two, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get a Stalker's Ultra Sight Gatling Laser. The Stalker's effect again is not one that I'm really too fussed on. Um, obviously, at the moment in Fallout, we got a bit of a meta going on, so. Stalkers obviously isn't in that meta, and so people just ain't gonna show love to the Stalkers effect. Um, I, to be honest, I don't feel it should be a legendary perk. Uh, sorry, a legendary effect on a weapon, as I'm sure there's a Stalkers perk. So what's what's the point in having the legendary effect when you can just um, apply the perk? Uh, and we're in for the last one now. This is where we're gonna get an explosive handmade junkies. Uh, no, but we do get a handmade. Unfortunately, it is a ghoul slayers. Like I said, very situational. Um, bashing damage as well. So two for me of the worst perks. Um, sorry, not perks. Effects. Uh, we do get a plus one perception, which is always nice. Doesn't come close to the two handmades that I'm currently using, and I've just sold some 0.44 rounds. Very nice. Uh, that's all the script we had for today. But we did get a very nice pull, lads. Um, this guy's taking all my bullets. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? The fixer. I'm big fan of this. Massive fan of this. Quad ammo capacity. I've just gone to a commando build as well, commando junkies. So that is very, very nice. The guns that I am using at the moment are right here. So I have my junkies suppressed automatic handmade, which is a 10% damage while, um, while aiming. And I do have my additions. I have five additions at the moment. And I pulled rather incredibly yesterday two amazing handmaids i've just sold more bullets lovely stuff i brought my bullets up for one capture if you ever want some cheap bullets come my way um so i had a quad handmade the other day which is uh, quadruple ammo capacity 10 percent damage on aiming and 25 percent less fat and on the same day uh, i had this absolute bad boy two shot tactical handmade Shoots an additional projectile, 50% limb damage, 15% faster reload, and hang on, I'm sure this is explosive. I'm sure I had an explosive one. Where's my explosive one? Uh, two sacks, lads. I had it equipped all this time, boys. Oh my god. Ah, so yeah, I did also pull this on the same day that I got the quad um, handmade, which is bullet explode for area damage, and it's a two-shot gun. It's an incredible gun, absolute beast. Um, but to be fair, I have been using the Junkies one in Daily Ops when I've been running Daily Ops. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I'll decide whether I'm going to script some of these guns, or I'm going to keep some of them, or I'm going to sell some in the vendor, or whether I'm just going to put some up for trade on Reddit. I'm going to keep this kind of... Oi! Lovely! I knew someone would buy that, man! Because Executioners has been the rave lately, so I put a uh, Executioners LMG up for sale, 8k caps. Um, wow! Oof. That's been in there for about a week as well, to be fair. Nice little 8k caps there. How much caps is that coming up to now? 15k, that's not bad at all. Oh, hey, look, we just ended the video on an even bigger high. Everyone's just buying all my stuff. Absolutely love it. Um, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, put the notifications on, all that good jazz. Like I said, I'm going to turn this 1000 script into a regular feature on the channel. Hopefully, you enjoy. Um, do give a little bit of insight when I buy the guns, but we'll just be buying them as uh, fast and often as possible. As soon as we build that script up from farming daily ops, we'll be ready to go and open some more. Peace.